call the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Mr Speaker, I, uh, I want to acknowledge Nick Smith. I'm not sure if it's the first speech he's made as a backbencher um, since, since he became one. Uh, and, and I want to indicate some sympathy for him when he watches in this House the treatment, the preference uh, that has been given to John Banks in much lesser circumstances than that member was in. Much, much, much lesser circumstances than that member. Sorry? Uh, this, member, this member hasn't been convicted of assault. Or order, order, um, well, order. Uh, that's not necessary. Speaker, well, I'm, 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 uh, there's no doubt that uh, I plead guilty to fighting. I did. And there was a period of time, there was a period of time uh, when I was in some pretty serious trouble. But, but and, and I didn't come into this House during that time, uh, but we sorted, we sorted it out. But, Mr Speaker, the point I'm making is that John Banks is getting an easy ride. John Banks is getting a very easy ride, whereas because the Prime Minister knew he could rely on Nick Smith, notwithstanding Judith Collins dumping on him, he knew he could rely on Nick Smith. That meant that Nick Smith goes back and John Banks keeps, at least for a period of time, his ministerial portfolio. I noted the, 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 the former minister also used the expression, the boat goes far, faster um, under a national government. I wonder, I wonder, sir, whether he was referring to the cabbage boat going faster, as, as his friend John Banks has been uh, on regular occasions. Uh, Mr Speaker, Labor members are supporting this bill. It's fair to say uh, that we're doing so um, not with an enormous enthusiasm. It, it is on balance uh, a bill that we're prepared uh, to support. Um, but there are some concerns around the removal of the approved issuer levy uh, on the payment of interest on securities meeting certain requirements. Uh, is notified under the Act. Uh, what we are concerned about is that this is a further erosion of the taxation uh, base, uh, the, the base associated with, with uh, financial transactions. It's ero an erosion both in the amount of total tax and a narrowing of the systems of collecting uh, tax uh, when, sir, what we, what we need at the moment, especially given the uh, Minister's billion-dollar sudden deficit, uh, we, we need all the tax that we can get, and it doesn't seem wise uh, to be sacrificing uh, tax in this way. And I think it's, uh, it's also uh, felt, uh, Mr Speaker, that it is better to have a number of bases uh, to the revenue uh, rather than, as we appear to be doing at the moment, being narrower and narrower uh, in the areas from which we collect tax with... Uh, the, the changes here, the changes uh, to do with gift duty and a number uh, of areas. Uh, Mr Speaker, it was interesting uh, to uh, look at the uh, submissions uh, and the way that the submitters uh, indicated that the proposals will, won't, won't help uh, increase liquidity in New Zealand. Uh, it, they will do nothing to reduce interest rates. They won't add depth to the capital markets, and, it, and, it, and it's fair to say that the government is in a, for a national party government, is in a relatively unusual position to be criticised by submitters on this bill, uh, to be criticised by some people who one would have thought would have been their uh, their real allies on the sale of state-owned enterprises, basically saying uh, that while the people agree in principle, and in fact I'm sure they agree in their pockets. Uh, with the sale of state-owned enterprises, they think that the government is making a mess of that uh, particular uh, exercise. A in addition, Mr Speaker, something which Labor members are getting more and more concerned about uh, is that the current tax system effectively contains a lower rate uh, of tax on offshore sources of capital relative to the tax on domestic savings, thereby providing what is really an unhealthy incentive for funds to be sourced from offshore rather than from savings in New Zealand. Because the effect of the taxation system is that returns are more for offshore lenders than they are for onshore lenders in New Zealand. And, and if the returns are, uh, are more for, for, the, for the funds that are sourced offshore, Mr Speaker, then the, then the effect of that 
uh, is that our debt, uh, our, our capital um, uh, coming into the country will increase, um, our uh, balance of payments uh, will over time get worse. And I think that um, it doesn't matter which side of the House uh, people are on, I think there's an understanding uh, that the invisible side of our balance of payments uh, is a major issue. We, you know, quite often uh, get into a trade surplus situation, not as often as we should be with the very good commodity prices in terms of trade, but we often get uh, into positive balance there. Uh, but it is the invisibles that are mainly associated with ownership, overseas ownership of such a high proportion of our economy and the, uh, the rents, the profits, the dividends, uh, and, and the interest uh, that's going offshore uh, as a result of that foreign ownership uh, means that we have to earn more and more and more offshore in order to stay uh, in balance uh, in the current account. Uh, and, and uh, Mr Speaker, that's why uh, members from our side look pretty carefully at any exercise like this one, uh, which in fact uh, worsens the situation. We, uh, we believe pretty strongly that um, we do need to have further work uh, to improve the neutrality at least of tax treatment across domestic and international sourcing. And, and, and in fact, I think we, you know, maybe even, uh, maybe even neutrality might lack ambition. Um, a lot of countries have a preference for sourcing their financing onshore rather than offshore. And one of the things that we need to consider, rather than giving preference to offshore lenders, uh, whether in fact we should focus on building up our own uh, domestic capital uh, and domestic borrowing uh, in order to retain the financing of our businesses onshore as much as possible uh, and thereby to reduce uh, the flow offshore. Now that of course would require uh, more ambition around uh, savings than we currently have. I, um, I note that it's been the policy of the government to uh, not put money into the Cullen Fund. Uh, I note that it's been the decision of the uh, government to run down KiwiSaver, uh, to uh, reduce the incentives, uh, to uh, reduce the uh, flow of payments uh, into the system. And that, of course, is something which works against the development uh, of capital in New Zealand. And, and sir, I think that's a, it's been a, been a short-term approach. Uh, it's the approach, I think, of people who are uh, more used to playing the markets, uh, to being uh, currency traders, uh, rather than people who have a genuine view around the importance of investment, of productive uh, investment. And I'm not, you know, and I'm careful of, as, I, as I say this with a, uh, the member for Piaco, uh, or similar, Waikato, uh, in, the, in the chair, uh, but it is not only um, investment in, the, in, the, in, in our farms and our traditional productive sector, but also investment in some of the smart new firms that we have around the country. I spent some time uh, over the recess going to quite a number uh, in my own electorate, and, and there's a couple there, at least, that could be within 10 or 15 years billion dollar industries, if we can hold them. But the key to holding them is making sure that we have the onshore capital in order to have the investment in them uh, and, and keep the ownership in New Zealand because what is clear is that all around the world there are people who are bidding for those businesses and while we are giving them more favourable terms in their purchases, in their financing arrangements, than we are giving to local purchases, that is something which tips the balance towards some of our best businesses uh, going offshore. So in, in conclusion, uh, Mr Speaker, the Labor Party will uh, support uh, this bill. Um, we, we, we do so because it's not doing massive harm, uh, but we are concerned that there is no plan to do what is right in the financing area.
called David Bennett.